Well, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're going to focus on whether you should love it or leave it. <clears throat> this is new for me. I have never done a reading like this before. Usually, I just throw cards out and see where it takes us. But today, we're just going to focus on love. All right, so which, which deck should I use? I, I'm not even... I have no plan here, Scorpio. And by the way, I'm doing your reading first because y'all had the most views and the most likes within that last uh, series of videos I did. So you get the honors, my friends. So start putting into your putting in your energy and focusing on who it is that you want to get messages about. This isn't going to resonate with everybody. There's a lot of people that watch these. So, <clears throat> so you know, take what you uh, resonate with and leave the rest. Um, I don't want to be responsible for any breakups <laughs> if it's not your story. So use your discernment, use your intuition, and let your heart guide you and your gut. You know, we have a heart in our gut, too. So, let's get started. All right. Scorpio. Should they love it or leave it? Love it or leave it, Scorpio. Scorpio, love it or leave it? We're going to do some clarifiers, too. Trust in the unknown. <clears throat> so you may be going through some um, some confusion right now. There may be some hunches you're experiencing. And it's asking you to trust your intuition. And um, ask your ancestors and your guides for assistance. Um, don't second guess your, your intuition. So we have spring. See your seeds grow. Okay. What else we have for Scorpio? Protection guardian. Drop your shields. Okay. So you may be having... Um, like an I, you may have somebody on your mind. Now, keep in mind, this is my first reading after a couple weeks. So forgive me if I stumble for a little bit, but we're going to get this. So the protection guardian, drop your shields with see your seeds grow and trust in the unknown. So it looks like there is some manifesting you need to do. Um, and then once you put that manifestation into the universe, you need to let it go, but water it with positive thoughts and emotions. And then don't um, let that, that ego mind control what happens after. So dropping your shields, you can still be protected while dropping your shields. If you drop your shields, <clears throat> um, it doesn't mean you're not protected. In fact, sometimes those sometimes those shields keep us from from experiencing the love that we want, right? So, as long as you trust and and when it comes to another person, it's not always the best thing to manifest or do spell work or anything like that when it comes to a specific person because that person may not be meant for you. Um, I know that's hard to hear and we don't want to hear that always, but just think of the feeling um, of who, what you want. What, it, what would it feel like if you had that full complete bond with somebody and uh, you know, that communication, that physical attraction, what would that feel like? Hold on to that energy and allow that energy to bring in whatever it is or whoever it is that resonates on that level, right? Because if you're focusing on one specific person and you're trying to manifest them, then you might be kind of sabotaging yourself because that might not be the right person for you. It might be somebody who's on a totally different level and they may bring in a lot of conflict in your life. 
And um, so the best thing to do is just focus on the feeling of what that true love feels like to you. What does it mean to you? And then just hold on to that vibration of what would it feel like in the end to have everything you want in a lover. And um, don't focus on who, just focus on the feeling, okay? Um, what should we do here? Let's do this one. I've never used this deck on a video before. I have done it many times with me on my in my own personal life but so let's see what this has <clears throat> sorry it's super smoky here it's been smoky here for like uh, over a month now and i've been congested so this is for scorpio scorpio what do you have to tell us here all right let's do it one more okay i was told to do another shuffle okay thank you for Scorpio. Let's see what you got here with the situations. Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. So we have Irisa Ir Iris. Why can't I pronounce that? I know how to pronounce it, I swear. Irreconcilable differences. There you go. So divorce, final. Anxiety, scared and panicked. So some of you may be going through a separation with somebody. And even if you're not married, it can still just represent um, a separation with somebody that you may have been with for a long time, or even that you weren't with for a long time. It just means like, obviously, there was too many differences, too many things going on, too many obstacles that are getting in the way and it's making it's, it's separating you and it's giving you a lot of anxiety because you don't know this could be you don't know how to survive on your own maybe it has to do with financial um or just because you're so connected with this person that you don't know you don't know any way of living without them and so um your guides are asking you to Trust in the unknown, because if there's stagnancy within a, a bond, um, then that just means that the waters are going to get very murky, and it's not going to be um, plentiful for you anymore. It's not going to be healthy. That water is going to be tainted. And so if, if things are stagnant, then um, it's time to get the, the waters flowing again so that you can cleanse all of that. And of course, anxiety and panic and being scared is, is, is a natural process of, you know, losing someone, but, um, it opens the door for you to connect with your higher self. And, um, being alone is in, in Scorpios know this very well is being alone is um where we all where we learn you know that's how we learn who we are and that's how we connect with us and we learn self-love and growth and sometimes being away from somebody you know that's that's like a blessing in disguise even though it doesn't feel like it um it's really important to to know that you know we all need some kind of separation sometimes so that we can figure out what we truly want and it doesn't mean that it's going to be final even though this does say it say it's final so we'll keep going here but um as far as now it's important to just trust in the unknown and to accept the process of what's going on because um we are not alone scorpio please we have guides we have angels <clears throat> we have our higher self that guides us into directions that we need to do for our spiritual growth. Because in the end, we're going to die alone, right? Sure, we're going to cross over alone, I should say. There might be people there when we die, but we're going to cross over and, and make it to the other side um, on our own. And, <clears throat> um, you know, not everybody knows what happens when we go to the other side. But what I've been told is that if you die at a certain and you're at a certain vibration on this planet, then it's very, very likely you're going to come back on that same vibration. And so it's, it's important that we take this, the circumstances in our lives and experiences and, 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 um, 
learn from them and raise ourselves up on a conscious and unconscious level on a spiritual level so that when we do cross over that we are um, able to move levels you know we can ascend and, and and move up levels so that we don't keep coming back here experiencing the same crap over and over again nightlife gamble take a risk vegas see your seeds grow so <clears throat> it might be time for you to um enjoy yourself a little bit you know get yourself out of this heartache that you may be going through um whether it be somebody who is new or you know somebody who has been a long time lover it's time for you to kind of accept what's going on and <clears throat> you know maybe you're holding on to a relationship too tightly and the gamble is letting it go you know that and taking a risk that could be letting letting this go you know allowing yourself to have some fun maybe you're being held back in a relationship and you don't feel that spark anymore um you know it it, it it, you know, we all have to have fun and keep the, our juices flowing. I always say juices flowing because it's so important. Juices um, lubricates everything, right? We need to be lubed up so that we're we're free in our bodies, in our minds, in our spirits. And so, um, you know, whatever it is that you're focusing on, it could be a new love. Um, you know, like I said. Uh, take a gamble in, in what you know you want in your life and take a gamble in, in your soul and your spirit to focus on the energy that you want in your life, right? So not a person, but whatever that feeling is, that's what you're going to start seeing grow. You're going to start seeing these seeds grow. All right, so let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio. One just flipped over. I'll... I'll take a look at it. Scorpio. Scorpio. Thank you. History. Past. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it doesn't look like there's something that in the past that is coming to, um, I don't want to say an end, but it could be an end for some of you. But something has definitely happened in the past that has caused some <clears throat> separation. I, you know, I don't feel like a lot of people who are watching this right now um, are actually in, in, involved directly with the person that they're thinking about. Um, <clears throat> it looks like you have to let it go. So everything that is, is right here is, is whatever is falling apart for you is causing you a lot of anxiety. And it, and they're asking for you to trust and to um, take a gamble with that trust. You know, take a risk as far as like seeing what's on the other side of this. Um, because the door may seem like it's shutting, but it's opening in a different area. Um, you know, for, for what, every, every door that's closed, a new door opens. So um, whatever has happened in the past is history, right? You may have had a lot of history. You may be going through a lot of like, you know, memories in your mind and, um, you know, <clears throat> dropping your shields. Maybe this could mean um, try to focus on possible because there it always takes two for separations, right? So um, it takes it's important to reflect on things and to see what our history, what our patterns are, um, that have possibly created this ending, um, to drop your shields and to know, like it does take two. It's not just one. Um, but regardless, it, it, it's all about acceptance and knowing that it's okay to let things go. Right. <coughs> All right, let's do this. I'm deaf. I'm just playing it by ear right now. I don't, I don't. So let's try this and see what happens. So this is for Scorpio. All right. So let's do. What does your person? What does your person want to say to you, Scorpio? What does your person? want to say to you 
Yeah, I definitely feel like this is this reading is meant for people who are already involved or maybe going through like a confusing situation with somebody, but they are, you already know them. <clears throat> I don't think this is for people who are completely single. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's do. So what does Scorpio's person want to say to them? Scorpio's person. What do you want to say to Scorpio? Okay. Okay. I focused on you instead of my pain. I was careless with you. So they may have a lot of inner um, conflict, some, some inner demons that they're, they've been suppressing for a long time. And it, it's probably caused a lot of bad habits, a lot of patterns that were not healthy within the relationship. And instead of the person focusing on how they felt they suppressed it and it caused them to be careless with you it caused them to make bad choices and to cause um and this could this could go either way you can flip it it could be you that have caused this you know um or both so take it how it resonates but yeah it looks like like you or your person had a lot of pain inside and they ignored it for a long time. And it probably ha didn't have to do with you. It probably just had to do with childhood or bad relationships and things like that, that they just kind of suppressed and tried to forget about because they wanted to be with you. But that just all ended up going to, like, you know, um, it just ended up causing so much pressure. I can't think of another word, you know, and they combusted, you know, and they were careless with you because they didn't, they, when you have all that pain and, and you just get so disoriented, you don't really know how to take care of other people, right? Because you don't even know which way is up or down. And so, um, it just caused a lot of probably, arguments, um, confusion, anxiety, and it may have made you or the other person feel as it f rejected, basically. Anything else that Scorpio's person wants to tell them? I'm not taking that one. Scorpio's person. What do you want to tell Scorpio? Oh, hold on. I don't really know you. I need to focus on my healing. I scared myself that day. I've been struggling. Yeah, somebody is definitely going through some inner turmoil. And it's really sad, you know. It's it's sad for all parties because it just affects everyone involved, you know, when people don't do their healing and their self-care. It just ends up ruining everything, everyone involved. And so, um, you know, I don't really know you. You know, that could be you telling them this. Or if you're the one that's having um, a hard time with the, your pain um, and your past, then it could be <clears throat> them saying that to you, you know. Um, like, I don't really know you. Maybe you need to go um I was going to say maybe you need to go on a date, but I think right now it's just meant definitely just need to focus on yourselves because the person that, you know, sometimes we suppress things so much that it can change us and then we start acting like a different person and um, that can actually be kind of scary, you know, because you thought you knew your husband or wife, but yet all of a sudden they're acting like this completely different person because they haven't focused on their demons and their demons. And I say demons in quotes because, you know, you know what I mean when I say demons. Um, just their pain, you know, their experiences, their pain. Um, I need to focus on my healing. Like, obviously, that, that that's what 
needs to happen here. Um, I scared myself that day. Somebody might have gotten a temper. Maybe they did something stupid. And, um, you know, they just, they're, they're starting to realize what the problem is. Uh, will they do anything about it? I don't know. We can pull a couple cards and see what happens there. Um, but they have been struggling. Either you or them, they're, they're struggling. So it really is important to have compassion for people who are struggling like that. Um, I know it's really, it's really easy for us to fall into this, this blame game, but you know, we all have different experiences. Even if you've been with somebody for a long time, we don't know everything, you know, and some people really hold in their, their stuff. And, you know, it, it, I think right now you just need to focus on, on the feeling of what you want, the abundance, you know, what, what the relationship that you, the perfect relationship that you, how would that feel? Focus on that feeling. Enjoy yourself. Have a glass of wine with some friends. Um, you know, do what you need to do. Enjoy yourself. Take a bubble bath. Go to the river. Put your feet in the river. Um, nightlife can be, like in my, in this situation, it just means to do some self-care and to um, try not to focus on this so much because it's only going to bring you to the pain that they're feeling, which usually that's what happens when we're in relationships where people are bottling things up. It just brings pain to us. And so it's really important to go and, and pull back. And, um, you know, as much as it hurts, it's just really important for us to pull back and focus on what makes us happy. All right. You're so easy to see through. Yeah, so it's interesting because I don't e I don't even know you and then you're so easy to see through. So Yeah, so it could be just that um you or your person is it's like it's like they you or they know what what's going on in 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 everything, but they're acting differently because they're not focusing on it. They're ignoring it and they've been ignoring it for so long and you know and you've seen it so you're so easy to see through. Like you see what's going on. It's from history. It's probably from the past. Um, it's probably because um, you or they haven't dropped their shields and actually worked on the pain from the past and you're seeing through that. Like you know where this is stemming from but you don't recognize the person that it's creating from all the repressed emotions. All right, let's pull some tarot. Which ones do I want to pull? We'll pull these. All right, this is going to be for Scorpio. Oop. So we're going to pull on irreconcilable differences, anxiety, Father Sky. This is for Scorpio. Uh, this video is already so long. I'm always so long-winded with my explanations. Okay. Scorpio. What do you have to tell us about Father Sky? Ir uh, ir Why can't I pronounce that today? I swear I know how to pronounce that. <laughs> and anxiety. What do you have to say to Scorpio? Irreconcilable differences. Oh man, that's too many cards. That's too many cards, yo. <clears throat> and I would edit the video down to make it faster, but when you edit things, that means you have to process the video, which takes a couple hours. And then it takes, um, it takes like a couple hours for it to upload too. So it ends up taking like six hours for the videos to upload. And it's crazy. I don't, YouTube needs to fix that because it's, it's like people bump, bump, do videos a lot. And I don't know how people have, now I see why some people do such short videos. Queen of Pentacles reversed. So there could be someone feeling like, um, 
maybe they had a mother in the past that was not there for them as far as money went or you know maybe they left the home without uh they left the home and they they made it to where there was only one person one uh, parent involved and it made things really tough as far as it went with um money this could also be you know just not having the proper feminine energy in the house. It could be somebody who was greedy, um, not very emotionally available. Um, it could be, you know, that could be how the, they are feeling right now. They're just feeling like I'm not emotionally available. I'm not strong. Like I'm not confident. Um, it could be all of that, but it also could be from childhood of, you know, um, just the not the proper feminine energy that creates love and balance. It, it, it might have caused some upheaval within the family. And that could be some of those demons that are still attached to your you or your person. Scorpio, please, Scorpio. Just one card would be cool. Sum it up for Scorpio. Oh, okay. We'll do three. So we have two of wands, king of swords, three of pentacles. Two of, so somebody is very much in their head. Um, they feel they're, they're confused. They have decisions to make. Um, it looks like they may need therapy or maybe they're going for therapy. If they're not going for therapy, they probably should. Um, because it's just like, when I look at the two of wands here in this specific situation, it just looks like this person is just like in a daze. Like, it's like endless confusion, <laughs> you know, endless decision making where I just don't know which way to go. And and then the King of Swords is a very, very sharp tongue, very intellectual person. Um, and then the Three of Pentacles is like cooperation, teamwork. So that's where I'm thinking like therapy could be very helpful in this situation. And I think what I'm catching on intuitively is therapy for just just the one person. Um, I wouldn't say couples therapy, even though, of course, that's good too. But I, I would definitely suggest just going to somebody with the, the smarts to help you understand or help them understand why they can't make decisions, what's going on. Um, you know, because there is help out there. There is people who actually have the skills to be able to help through this kind of stuff. It's just all about if the person... Um, is willing, is willing to do it, is willing to go to therapy because therapy, some people, it's like, I think it's becoming more accepted. Um, but I know that like a lot of people have stigmatized the whole therapy thing. And it's like therapy, I was just talking to my friend today and therapy changed my life. And I was very stubborn to it for many, many years. I never, I didn't go. But, um, once I went, it just really completely changed my life. And it just, just, you know, nothing, sometimes just a simple conversation with a stranger who knows how to navigate within those types of, um, conversations is so magical. It can change everything. So we have King of Cups reversed. So somebody is definitely, um, not available right now to express their love, um, they're not feeling very loving. They're stuck in their head. They're, they're just, um, I think they're starting to relive some past moments in their life. And, and so they just need a little bit of help, you know, like I said, some therapy, some friends. Um, but as far as you go, 
if you're not this person, um, I say just, you know, start, fo start doing some self love, start focusing on yourself. Like I said, go to the river, put your feet in the river and enjoy the feeling of that water moving all of that energy and clearing it down downstream, you know, um, <clears throat> because 